Welcome to this meditation, Embracing the Sacred Gift of Your Life. How often do we get so caught up in our identities and our daily struggles that we lose sight of the true gift that our life offers? We often fixate on our limitations, on our self-concepts, and we overlook the profound potential within us. And what happens is this fixation blinds us to the sacredness of our lives and the unique opportunities that they provide us for spiritual growth. This practice is inspired by Buddhist teachings and a meditation from Mingyur Rinpoche's book, Turning Confusion into Clarity, and it invites you to embrace the sacred gift of your life. By regularly engaging in this contemplative meditation, you can begin to dismantle the rigid concepts that you hold about yourself. This practice uses the creative energy of imagination to help you perceive your life from a broader perspective, and that will free you from the small box definitions that limit you. We'll be examining four aspects of our life, our body, our lifespan, the circumstances that we find ourselves in, and suffering. So instead of trying to control the mind, what this meditation does is it allows for your thoughts to serve a higher purpose, one that expands your understanding and opens you to new possibilities. And over time, it can help you see your life as more than just a series of experiences. It becomes a sacred journey with infinite potential for your spiritual growth. So as we move through this practice, I invite you to let go of the self-concepts that keep you stuck and embrace the possibility that your life is a sacred gift offering you a unique path for spiritual awakening and transformation. So, let's begin. Getting settled and closing your eyes. and sensing the surface underneath you and all the different places where your body comes into contact with the surface underneath you. And just feeling that support, the support of the surface underneath you. The ground, which is always there supporting you. just bringing your awareness to your breath noticing where your breath goes as you breathe in and where it goes as you breathe out becoming aware of all the ways in which your breath is like a bridge between your outer world and your inner world. Allowing yourself with each breath to draw a little more closely into your inner world, into that place where everything that you've ever known or sensed or felt or imagined or dreamed or experienced is held in timeless 
awareness. And just taking a moment to reflect on the very nature of your existence. And what makes this human life so, so precious? It's not just the fact that you're alive, but also the, the fact that you hold this profound potential within you. And that is the potential for awakening. So consider this very deeply that you are not separate from the divine. The very energy that animates the body and the mind that you call you is Shakti. It is the divine. The challenge lies simply in recognizing and nurturing this truth. So often we don't believe in our own capacity for awakening because we see ourselves as limited and insufficient or flawed. And this perception obscures our ability to recognize our true nature. So as we move into this practice, allow yourself to open to the possibility that you are at this very moment already whole and already complete. And this particular practice is simply here to guide you, to help you recognize this inherent divine nature. And this practice will actually work to reverse the deeply ingrained tendencies to see yourself as less than you truly are. So in order to do that, we're going to now deepen this contemplation by exploring the four aspects of being human. This body, this life, the actual time that we have in this body, the circumstances that brought us to this moment right now, and our understanding and relationship with suffering. Each of these four aspects underscore the very sacredness of your human nature. So consider the extraordinary gift of having this human body. This body isn't just a physical structure, it's a sacred vessel that allows you to experience and engage with the world in ways that are unique to humans. Unlike the bodies of animals or insects, which are primarily driven by instinct and survival, your body is endowed with the capacity for conscious reflection and creativity and spiritual practice. And 
It's through your body that you have the ability to hear and absorb spiritual teachings that guide you on your path of awakening. You can even think about the intricate working of your ears that allow you to listen to the wisdom teachings that have been passed down through generations, through lineages. And your eyes, your eyes allow you to perceive not only the beauty of the world around you, but to read the sacred text that inspires your spiritual practice. And your voice, which gives power to recite prayers and chant mantras and express your deepest truths. And your hands, which offer gestures of devotion and engage in acts of kindness and compassion. Your body is literally a vehicle through which you can connect with the divine. It's a temple where the sacred resides and through which the sacred is expressed in all number and matter of ways. Your body is a bridge between the physical and the spiritual realms. It anchors you in the present moment, reminding you that awakening isn't an abstract concept, but rather it's something that can be realized right here, right now, in this very physical form. Sense how your body with all of its strengths and vulnerabilities is uniquely suited for the path of awakening. It's through this body that you can experience the full spectrum of life from the mundane to the mystical. And it's through this body that you can ultimately realize your oneness with the divine. So now, turn your attention to the gift of time, the lifespan that you've been given in this human existence. Because just as your body is a precious tool for awakening, so too is the time that you have in this life, a unique opportunity to grow, to learn, and to wake up. So reflect on the gift of your life, the time that you have in this human body, because while it may seem leading in the grand tapestry of time, this very brevity is what makes it so, so precious. And consider how the time in your life offers this balance between urgency and opportunity. The knowledge that your time is limited can serve as a very, very powerful motivator, urging you to make the most of every moment. Each 
each day, each moment presents a chance to deepen your understanding and to connect with the divine, to progress on your spiritual path. And the awareness of the impermanent nature of things can inspire you to prioritize what truly matters, your spiritual growth, your relationships, your connections with others, and most importantly, realizing your true nature and the true nature of reality. Your life isn't just a series of moments passing by. It's a sacred opportunity to learn, to evolve, to transform. Unlike other animals, you have the privilege of reflecting on your life's purpose, of contemplating your place in the universe and engaging in practices that lead to awakening. The time that you have in this body provides a framework for experiencing the cycle of creation, maintenance, and dissolution that mirror the cycles throughout the universe. Because of time, in the time that you have, you experience the changing of seasons, the ebb and flow of life's challenges and joys, the aging of your body, and the evolution of your own spiritual growth and understanding. So recognize and appreciate that the time that you have in this life is rare and valuable. Your life, the time that you have in this body, even though it's finite, is perfectly designed for your awakening. It offers you the experiences, the challenges, the opportunities that are necessary to realize your true nature. So you can also consider how this finite time that you have in this body also intersects with circumstances of your life the experiences, the environments, the relationships that shape your journey aren't random. They're the context within which your spiritual path unfolds. So reflect now on the circumstances that have brought you to this moment and how they contribute to your growth and your awakening. Consider the incredible, incredible fortune of being in a situation that allows you to explore a spiritual path. Life is filled with challenges and imperfections and it's not always easy, but the fact that you are here right now engaging in this practice is a testament to the opportunities present within your circumstances.
think about the specific circumstances that have shaped your life. The environment that you grew up in and that you live in, the people you've encountered, the experiences that have influenced you. While not every aspect of life may be ideal and there may be struggles along the way, you've found a way to seek deeper understanding and connection. Your current circumstances offer you a unique opportunity an opportunity that some people don't have because of their circumstances. You have the freedom to seek out teachings that resonate with your heart. You have the space to cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. This freedom is something to be deeply appreciated because it provides the foundation for your spiritual journey. Consider as well the mental and emotional circumstances that support your spiritual path. You have the capacity for introspection, the ability to question and explore the nature of yourself, of your mind, of reality. So take a moment to appreciate the fortunate circumstances of your life because They have provided the foundation for the journey that you find yourself on right now. They are the context in which your awakening is unfolding. They offer you the conditions necessary to realize your true nature. So having explored the circumstances of your life and how they provide a foundation for your spiritual journey, we can turn now to a contemplation on suffering. And suffering, though it is often seen as a burden or something bad, is a teacher. It's within the context of your life and circumstances that suffering arises. And it's also within this very life that the potential to transcend it exists. In fact, this is the promise of all Eastern spiritual traditions. So consider the possibility or the idea that suffering at its essence is experienced when we're disconnected from our true nature. It's not simply a byproduct of external circumstances, but a creation of the mind, our thoughts and stories. And suffering manifests through our attachments, our aversions, and our ignorance. It's these three things that bind us to karmic patterns, perpetuating cycles of dissatisfaction and unrest.
And yet, this life, your human life, is sacred precisely because it offers the possibility of breaking free from these cycles. Because while suffering is an undeniable part of the human experience, it's not something that must define or limit you. The unique potential of your life lies in the capacity to recognize the root causes of your suffering and to dismantle them. And this life provides you with the capacity to use suffering as a catalyst for spiritual growth. And suffering, when it's understood and approached with awareness, becomes a very, very powerful teacher. It challenges you to question the attachments, the aversions that drive your suffering and to cultivate wisdom and compassion in response. So it's in this way that suffering is transformed from a source of pain into a source of profound insight and liberation. This life is sacred because it offers the opportunity to move beyond suffering. It's within this very existence that you can experience the truth that suffering, while it's, it is present, it doesn't have to be endured passively. You have the capacity to recognize it and to use it as a catalyst for growth and ultimately to free yourself from its grasp. So, you've just explored the sacred gift of your life. Stepping beyond the narrow confines of self-concepts and limitations to recognize the profound potential that lies within you. This isn't just a one-time insight. This is a practice that when you engage with it regularly can transform how you see yourself, the preciousness of your life, and your place in the world. By perceiving your life outside of the usual context, You've begun the process of dismantling the rigid ideas that keep you confined. So just know that this is an ongoing journey of continually rediscovering the sacredness of your existence and the unique opportunities that it offers for spiritual growth. And as you emerge from this meditation now, I invite you to carry with you the awareness that your life is 
precious. It is sacred and it's filled with infinite possibility. And each time that you engage in this meditation, you're literally chipping away at the walls that limit you, creating space for a more expansive understanding of who you are. And this is the true power of embracing the sacred gift of your life. Namaste.